Knock knock. Who's there? Summons. You have been served. Well, not yet. Stay tuned. In this video we shall be defining and explaining different forms of summons. Welcome back to the Jurisprudence channel. Thank you for choosing us to be your law buddy. Please hit your notification bell, to be the first one to be notified about our creations. This will ultimately help other law enthusiasts to find and learn from our channel. If you have just discovered us, please feel at home. This is the only YouTube channel, where you'll find South African case laws, legal procedures and definitions. If you love law, do not hesitate, subscribe and hit the notification button, because we make law fun. A summons is the first official document, in the court process of South Africa. It is usually preceded by a lawyer's letter, known as a letter of demand, and delivered by the sheriff of the court. Summons notifies the defendant, or the person being sued, that they are being sued. It also informs the defendant about the facts of the claim, and when they must appear in court. Furthermore, they provide all sorts of information such as who the parties are, and which court is involved. The different forms include, combined summons, simple summons, interpleader summons and provisional sentence summons. Combined summons may be used for any claim. However, it is mandatory to use a combined summons in the case of an unliquidated claim, such as a claim for damages or an illiquid claim, such as divorce. It includes a particulars of claim, which sets out the facts and claim. The cause of action is set out in full, in the separate particulars of claim which are annexed to it. A combined summons in the High Court, must be signed by both the attorney and the advocate who act for the plaintiff. A simple summons is used only when claiming a debt, or liquidated demand. A simple summons must be signed by the attorney who acts for the plaintiff. It is followed by a document known as a declaration, once the defendant enters an appearance to defend. Simple summons is simpler than a combined summons, in that it does not have a separate particulars of claim attached to it. The particulars of claim are included, in an abbreviated form, in the body of the simple summons itself. Interpleader summons, applies in a matter where a person is in possession of property that belongs to another, and which such property is being claimed by two or more parties. Provisional sentence summons is used when suing on a liquid document, where the plaintiff has a prima facie case. A prima facie case is a cause of action or defense that is sufficient, established by a party's evidence to justify a verdict in his or her favor, provided such evidence is not rebutted by the other party. Upon initial examination, we can say it is a legal claim that seemed to have sufficient evidence to proceed to trial or judgment. The provisional sentence summons provides the plaintiff with a speedy remedy for immediate judgment, without the lengthy delay of trial. Otherwise, this is the Jurisprudence channel. If you like this video, please give us a like. Do not forget to subscribe for more fun legal content. Take care. We are forever your law buddy, until the jury do us apart.